I almost didn't come because just like Jack said, we have done a lot of talking around these premises and there seems not to be um, a way forward. Yet everybody loves to talk and act accordingly. I have the opportunity to represent you all in Parliament because as the Shadow Minister for Arts and Culture, nothing can happen about culture and art when I'm not consulted. Personally, I must report that I'm very frustrated because as the Shadow Minister, my role is to see that we do the planning, is to see that I lobby for the industry, is to see that I promote the industry to whoever doesn't know it. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to report. We are an established industry, but many people don't know we exist and people still have that negativity about us. Despite all the efforts, government officials, right from the ministry that takes us, we need to re-explain ourselves of who we are, even to the people who manage our docket, the Ministry of Gender. Just like Jack was saying, they only recognize our existence if there is money going around and they've heard that parliament has released a few billions to the art sector. There you will see the minister moving around. There you will see the commissioner moving around. But when there is no money, nothing like the art industry. One day, I sit on the gender committee being a shadow minister for arts and culture. One day, the minister came as we were working on the budget, and they were presenting the budget paper for the ministry, minus our docket. I had to stop the entire committee by raising a question. If you are the ones responsible for the creative world and culture, where is the budget? for this established industry and how are you going to develop it this financial year? I have to put the committee at the stop and they went and redid their budget. Of course. So up there, I'm fighting a war. I'm glad to come here to explain what we are doing because the stakeholders, you need to know. After all the hassle, to see that at least our industry gets a budget every financial year, we are again frustrated by accountability. You understand? Now, every time my sector has to come to the budget committee, I have to go head by head, convincing people because they don't know what we use the money for. As I talk, I've been in parliament for now three years. They released 10 billion for COVID. As COVID relief to the art sector. When you talk to all the artists, nobody got now, where did the money go? They came. Hildam and Neo Pass, we have the e-concert. 7.5 billion released. You approach artists, they didn't get money. Now, recently, this almost put me in trouble. Because why? My role is to task government to invest in the industry. So when I task government to invest in the industry and the government releases funds, 
I can't come back on TV and say, don't release the funds. Because I will be contradicting myself. Now, the people who have to help me are those ones going to utilize the funds. Because we have needs. The industry needs to grow and it has to grow by investment. But when the money lands to your account, what do you use it for? You understand? So there is a challenge of accountability and as a result, this is frustrating the entire industry. Because when you go back to the budget committee, they're like, 10 billion, nothing. And surprisingly, one looking sees as if government doesn't even invest any hundred in the industry. So, as we talk, I welcome the accountability session. We need to account for whatever money we are giving out. Seriously, we need a ministry that understands us. We are very affected by the ministry. The Ministry of Gender is too congested. They work on labor externalization, they work on employment, they work on girls, they work on old women, they work on family, Children. disability. Children. Mention it. It's too congested. And their focus is to run where government has put grants, where government has put money. If it has put it in the elder women, they will go to the elder women. If it has put it in the grow, there the minister will run to grow and abandon all other sectors and advocate. Ad ad so we need a standalone ministry. And I believe we can get it because our industry can sustain itself. In every in every government uh, broadcast, they are portraying this industry as one of the industries with potential to change this country's GDP. But surprisingly, they are not giving it that attention. The research you want us to make must be made by the government. And trust me, they make research about it. But Jack said it. We must find out if government loves our existence or not. Because that political will is what we must fight for. That's why when we come as a solid team, they will not fund. But when they sense and see an individual run a proposal, they will release billions. But as a block, they don't release. So, we must get there. I'll work hand in hand with the colleagues at the Parliament, Honorable Rachel, Honorable Geoffrey, to see that we work on the amendment as proposed. And lobby other members. However, visibility. We are not visible. UNCC, sorry my big brother said we don't call it UNCC. National theater activities are not visible. We need to go back from primary schools where I came from Maokota. We used to come here. This place would be flooded with competition. If we are the ones to resurrect it, let us do it. Secondary school festivals, mention it. Hmm? How can blanket and wine, whatever, overtake us? Nyege, nyege. How come when we have the big people, the Alex Mukuru's, to spearhead, they have by now katiba keri to no kumi awaba and waka. So deliberately, the creators have run away from this place. It is our responsibility to have them back. If they don't come back, there is a deliberate move. People don't want to talk about it, but people want this prime land. Yeah. People want this prime land. And they can only access it if we keep where. 
e musaba kubanga alina abamulira mu e abalala bakama baffe batata baffe baba convincing abajja koma o twali songa rwachi papazi ya amanyo kusinga national theater eh? every evening tugena wa message sema kula yes we want to support the brother but this national theater used to be our home what went wrong is the question the board must find out to answer. Mm. Lastly, let me hope we are not ushering in a machinery team to sign on papers that take away what belongs to us. This is very important. We value what your signatures mean to the art industry. Let us hope we are not gathered here to usher in machinery that is going to sign on what is going well, on the takeover of what belongs to us. We are serious on this. Since Tulina commitment of Kuva National Theatre. Banange to do Jaco to come away. Club work of Koyo get the Kapuru, no, and not as Conro. Our Emu people, Nabarianga, one a man. But Nabo Nabo Nanga Babeda Monomo can't be. What has happened? There are things you need to begin asking yourselves because we are we must utilize the prime market, the prime land. But there is something, and I don't know what happened. You need to find out as board members. Otherwise, for God and my country, I want to promise and pledge that this industry, as the shadow minister, I will represent you accordingly. And I will make sure that our, our goals, our targets are met. And I will lobby, just like I've been lobbying members, but please, whoever is answerable, nangin koye frustrations. You lobby because mula bu ababuri kali chaba robinga neba tuara neba gena neba kura tractor. Eh? Aba health neba gena neba robinga. Kaka tina uba artist bari kubuza kuwari okorachi. Bana ngo guange ngo kora muna ba kuruba no neba mba kubuza neba jamu mu 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 committee ya. I do my need. I do my 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 role, but. What happens? What one for God and man? <laughs>